Today is the season opener for year two of the Baltimore Orioles rebuild. Um, the comment section on the offseason, I was a little bit afraid to put that video out because I didn't know what the reaction was going to be. But a lot of y'all show love and I appreciate that. I, I, I love that y'all love that I'm just trying to have fun. You know, I feel like a lot of other series that I've done on YouTube, I was catering to the audience instead of just doing what was fun. And that's why they always end up like ending early. But with this, I'm just having so much fun. So yeah, I accelerated the timeline just a little bit, but I don't even think that's that's necessarily true. Like we still got a lot of young prospects that we got in our in our farm system. We got Colton Kowser. We got Heston, whose name I haven't completely learned how to pronounce. We have Gunnar Henderson. We got Robbie Dobson, the guy that we drafted last year draft. Again, y'all don't like this pick, but I promise you it's going it's in a couple years. Just look out for it. We still got Jermaine Hall. Uh, so I'm saying that our, our farm system is still pretty good while us still being at least solid this year. Like I'm looking at like Jorge Polanco. He's on the last year of his deal. I don't plan on resigning him. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that means that Gunnar Henderson next season is our in our lineup full time. Or maybe that means that Colton Hauser, who can play third base, is in our lineup full time next season. So I, I think I'm bridging the current and the future. Now, our, our pitching staff still needs a ton of help. DL Hall is only B potential nowadays. And we don't have a ton of pitching prospects other than like a Grayson Rodriguez, you know, going into this second year. Or I guess his service time still say he a rookie. Um, and I think that later on down in this season, we're going to end up trading Trey Mancini on um, the last year of his deal at 31 years old and try to get a, a fifth pitcher because right now we really don't really, we don't really have that. We got Keegan Atkin um, as our fifth pitcher, which is obviously not ideal. But you know what? You know what I saw in the comment section I agree with? Why not bring in Charlie Morton to just be our fifth starter? 14 years of service time, 39 years old. Uh, last season, he was 14-7 and seven with a 4.34 ERA. That's better than what we have in our fifth starter right now. So you know what? I only need you for one season, my boy. You try to get two years when you're 39. No, thank you. And just like that, we got a fifth starter. Just like Johnny Cueto, Cueto was last year. Now it's Charlie Moore, and now Keegan Atkins can come and be a long end reliever. I also made a couple of trades around the edges. We brought in Michael King. I don't know if that was at the end of last video or whatever, but Michael King is in our bullpen. Uh, Jake Brintz is in our bullpen too. And I'm liking what we got. We're the 17th ranked team. And in our season opener, we're playing against Garrett Cole, which is interesting. But this team is not very good anymore. So they lost Aaron Judge. They lost Rizzo. I mean, they still got Stanton, which is good for them at 33 years old. But, like, their roster's really bad. Like, I'm not even worried about them. There's a team that, if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember who won our division last year, now that I'm thinking about it. I feel like that was so long ago when I filmed my next episode. So, the Jays are the fourth-ranked team in the division, or in the in the entire league. They're in our division. The Yankees are 21st. We have the 11th from the Red Sox. We got to see what they got. But, like, we are the third when it comes to overall rankings in the conference or in the division, which is not too bad. Not too bad. I got to go see what the heck is going on with some of these other teams, though. Because uh, I did not know the Red Sox was going to be like that. Trevor Story, Alex Verdugo. Everything is pretty normal. Um, yeah, it's pretty much their exact same team in real life, other than them bringing up Trishkin Cas Casas, Casas um, to actually play, like, Major League at-bats. But it's pretty much the same team. They got Bobby Dahl back over there, too, who's going to be playing against left-handers, I'm imagining. Yeah, so he's got... The left hand, they've got Yerman Mercedes here. So, you know, that's a team we got to look out for. But right now, we need to focus on the Yankees. First game of Aaron Nola pitching. First game in Baltimore for him. And I'm excited. I have not played in a couple days, man. I'm dealing with this cold. And it's been kicking my butt. The last video y'all saw of me, I recorded like four or five days ago. And I've just been wanting to finally get here and film this first episode of the season. But I hadn't had the voice for it. Um, but but now we're here and I'm excited even though like we might get to the seventh inning and the boys voice is completely gone I, I, But I got to do what I got to do. I just want to play season opener home openers here opening day It's a little rainy here in Baltimore. That's all right. Uh, that's all right. We can still get a win Ben attendees first game here. We got the fireworks even though you know what I'm saying there's a lot of rain in the forecast That is a dub baby Aaron Nola's gonna take the bump for the first time here in Baltimore first time and, and, and a lot more to go. He had a 306 last year with a 13 and 7. All right, so we did quick keep quick count on just because it's better for me as a player here. IKF is up to bat, and we walk him. That's all right. That's all right. 
know what I'm saying? Little, little jitters. Little jitters. First game jitters. Yep. Tim. Turn two, Tim. Turn two, Tim. Woo! They say that our fielding sucks. And we signed Tim Anderson when we already had bad fielding. Well, he just showed right there on that, that play right there what he can be. We're going to hold him accountable here in Baltimore. And when we hold him accountable, he's going to put up his best fielding numbers of his career. John Carlos standing up to bat. I'm going to give him a fastball high and away. He's going to chase it. We're going to get out of that inning. Aaron Nola. Dubs. Sit down 2-7. Now it's time to bring up that bats. Tim Anderson first at bat with the Baltimore Orioles going against Garrett Cole, who last year had a 309. He's not unhittable. There it is. First base hit of his Baltimore Oriole career. I don't know if this thing, you know, what Tim Anderson and the White Sox do, does that translate to Baltimore? I don't know. But his first hit is in his first at bat. Very Tim Anderson like. You know he gonna hit like 320 on the season. That's what he do. Ramon Urias is up to bat. Let's get it. I thought Tim's speed would be a little bit more than 68. Um, but it's not. But it's not. I was I would love to try to, you know, snag the second base. But no, now with no 68 speed. That's not happening. 2-2 two, two count, though, Ramon. That's way out. Let's go. Good out, Ramon. We got Seti up to bat. That's my MVP. That's my batting champ right there. You, bet, you better not walk. You better not walk, Ramon Urias, because uh, Seti's going to make you pay if you do. Come on. That was, that was a base hit. Slightly early on it, but that's a base hit, ladies and gentlemen. Two on for Cedric Mullins. 1-2 count. Oh, snap. They got us in the hole right here. Got us in the hole. I'm under it. I'm under it. Dang. That was a good pitch. The timing is looking good. I was slightly under it. And that's the first out of the season for us. Ryan Mountcastle got a new deal this offseason. 3-1 count. All right. You got the he got green light on 3-1. If it's if it's somewhere close, that's not it though. Base is loaded for Trey Mancini. Signed a one-year, $9 million contract to come back to Baltimore. Everybody knows that he's probably going to get traded. And he grinded into a double play because I'm over it. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's unfortunate. Dang. Okay. Not a bad, not a bad inning for us, man. Some unfortunate events, but not a bad inning. Trey Mancini just slightly over it. Hits it into the dirt. And that's a double play ball. I be trying to pitch around people. I need to be throwing it at him. You know, Josh Donaldson got some pop for sure. But why should I be afraid of him? Why should I be afraid of anybody in this lineup? I be pitching around people. Let him give him something to hit. Let our fielders do their job. Give him something to hit. Yep, let our fielders do their job. Ben Attendees, first put out of the season. Glaber Torres, 3-2 count. I'm giving him some gas high and away, but in the zone. Give him some gas, Nola. Get your second strike out of the day. Oh, I hung that pitch. I hung the pitch. The no-hitter is dead. <laughs> the no-hitter is dead. Imagine that, his first game here, he would throw a no-hitter. No. 3-2 no. count here to, to Miguel. I don't know what to think about you. I'm giving you something to hit. That's a play. Cedric Mullins gets under it, and just like that, we got two outs. You know, that's that's who you get, man. That's a gold glove center fielder right there. Got the jump and got the out. Are you running? You running? Are you crazy? By a mile. Adley Rutschman picking up exactly where he left off last game or last season. Throwing people out. Count your days because I'm going to take one. Four, 425. Center. Dead center. Eventually. Eventually. I'm not saying it's going to happen anytime soon. I mean, it, it might be in the seventh inning. I, don't, I have no idea. We're about to find out, though. Benintendi's first at bat. Look at that. Look at that. That's a pitch old Kenny is swinging at. When I say old Kenny, I mean like 72 hours ago, Kenny. That's a pitch I'm swinging at. But now with a 3 1 count, Benintendi first at bat is him reaching base successfully. Now, Adley Rutschman, last season, he did not have a terrible season. He started off really, really bad, but through the second half of the season, he picked it up. I want my boy to be out here, like, having the best possible at-bats every time. I'm legitimately gonna, gonna play the game like I'm Adley Rutschman, like it's a roll to the show, because I want him to progress so much. I want him to progress so much in this series. 3-2 count, Adley, Tim Anderson up to bat next, and you know, Tim Anderson basically... Cannot do anything but reach base successfully. That is a base hit. Maybe even a double. Ben Attendee, since he was already running, that's enough to score him. Our first run of the season is Adley Rutschman with an RBI double. Ben Attendee had a great at bat. Draws, draws a walk. Attempts to steal second. Ball is in play. And he, he crosses from first on a double. And now Tim Anderson got a man in, run, in, in scoring position. 
3-1 cow form, but it's Tim Anderson, and he don't know how to draw a walk to save his life, so you got the green light. Why wouldn't I give him the green light? That's not it, though. You know, you can have a green light and still play it, play it nice. Okay, Garrett Cole is struggling to hit the, the strike zone right now. That's like his fourth walk through two innings. He is struggling. That's somebody else's ace. Oh, okay, um, okay, um, that's fine. That's somebody else's uh, ace, not mine. My, my ace would never walk four batters in two innings. And that's dropping. Base is loaded for Ryan Mountcastle? Yes, it is. Base is loaded for Ryan Mountcastle. 3-2 count. We sent it up, I guess. Base is loaded. I mean, I'm under it. Oh, no, that was Cedric Mullins. Oh, I'm under it, bro. Oh, my God. Two times I have the bases loaded, right? Did I have the bases loaded last time with Trey Mancini and got under the ball? Or I got over the ball last time. I'm under the ball this time. Dang. Hicks with a 3-2 count. Like I said, I'm, I'm throwing them stuff to hit right now. Nobody in this lineup has proven to me. Yeah, you, Oh, you thought, my boy. You thought you was taking that first base. That was a for sure strike. Go ahead, watch the footage. Adam Engel, Chicago White Sox legend, maybe? I'm not worried about his bat. I'm not worried about his bat at all. Former teammates, throw him out. He got some wheels, but Tim Anderson got a silver, a silver defensive uh, badge. That's dope. Tim, you can make that play. You can make that play. You can make that play, Tim. Woo, Tim. I don't know how that ball, that little dribbler just did that. But now we got Frankie Schwindel, who's actually a really nice bat. I don't know how he performs against righties, but I know he can hit. And now being a 3-2 count, we cannot walk the bases loaded because I think Aaron Judge is up to bat next. They're running. As they should, but that's a fly out to, to Ben Attendi. And Aaron Nola works himself out of a jam. All right, let's go put some more runs on the board. Another 3 1 approach for Garrett Cole. I mean, at this point, I just sold. The slider just killed me. At this point, we got the man's pitch count at 56, and he's only two in his end. He cannot get that zone, bro. I cannot believe how many walks he has already. Fourth walk, that's number four. I thought that was number five, but that's number four. Still a ton. For two innings in, you know? Fifth walk. His pitch coach got to come out, man. That's the fifth walk of the game for him. 2-2 two -two count right now for Jorge Polanco. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of playing passively. But, I mean, ah, oh, I thought that was hitting the top of the zone. It did not. That's a take right there. I'm not going to test whoever's arm that is. That's a take pitch nine times out of ten. I got kind of greedy. I thought it was going to hit the top of the zone, and it did not. All right, Austin Hayes was not an all-star. Last year, but he progressed dramatically. Slider. I'm telling you, if I'm swinging and missing, it's the slider. It's the slider. I cannot see it out of his hands, bro. I cannot predict when it's coming. Wow. I'm selling Austin Hayes. That's his second strikeout, and both of them are Austin Hayes. All right, it's been a tennis time. It's been a tennis time, man. We've had a lot of runners on. We're leaving a lot of runners on base today. And that's not enough. My PCI is bad. Oh, brother, I'm frustrated myself. Oh, did I say Aaron Judge was up? I meant to say Stanton. The same pitch that we struck him out with in the first, we're throwing it again, hiding away. Got him again. Wow, I know how to get Stanton out of this game, man. I know how to get him out of this game. Hiding away fastballs. He cannot catch up with it, and we, we set him down. Uh-oh, the commentators are talking about a potential rain delay. I don't like that idea. They thought they had a chance. Uh, nope, Aaron Nola keeps everything in the park. Aaron Ola keeps everything in the park. He does not give up home runs. At least not in this simulation. I don't know about real life. I don't know enough about him in real life. But I'm going to say, as long as he's in Baltimore, he will not give up a home run. Jorge Polanco, potentially making this play. Oh, I thought that was going to be a lot more difficult than it ended up being. And just like that, we added the inning again. Aaron Ola pitching an absolute gym through three innings. Or I guess that's four, through four. So yeah, he ended up hitting 241 last season with 13 home runs and 41 RBIs. That's not bad for Adley in his first season so and that's that's hit hard left field is trotting that's a double again do i test it no that's a double that's a double again adley is oh my god i should have went three if i knew they was gonna throw it like that i could have went three adley is turning up this season ladies and gentlemen this is the year of the rush man it's the year for him all right, one-two count, Tim Anderson. Let's lock in. Let's lock in. We need another run on the board. A leadoff double, we 100% get struck out by a slider because the slider is the hardest pitch for me to hit. 
Ah! All right, Ramon. 3-2 count, man. Ramon Urias. Set things up perfectly. 0-2 right now with Cedric Mullins on the day. That's not, that's not likely to continue. Set him up nicely. Hopefully, it's not a slider. It's high. All right. Drew, Drew the walk. He's at 83 pitches already, bro. They're going to have to bring somebody else in. And it's Cedric Mullins on a 1-2 count. Oh, I'm, I'm terrible at the game. I'm terrible at the game. I'm terrible at the game. We have a leadoff double, and I strike out on two bad pitches, bro. Oh, my God, man. All right. Ryan Mountcastle, come on, man. New contract. Make it worth it. The slider. Oh, my God. I've never had a pitch that was this tough to hit, bro. Oh, my God. I'm choking. Whoo! That was a slider that missed barely. All right. We're sitting our runners, of course. 3-2 count. Uh, two outs. And that was a slider. That, that I actually got a piece of. Not enough. But that's the first time I've been able to actually get bat to ball on a slider in this game. Unfortunately, we had a leadoff double that led to nothing. But that's a step in the right direction, for sure. Miguel Andujar puts it in play to Ramon Urias. Our infield, our infield is like a bunch of bronze fielders and like guys that don't have any fielding badges at all. But, I mean, if it's routine plays like that, I trust them. Anything more than that, it's going to be rough. All right, we just need to take care of business. We don't want any base runners. We already have 71 pitches for him. We, we do not want to get him into the 90s, like when we get into the sixth inning. Because he's pitching so well, I would want <clears throat> this to be like a eight-inning outing for him, potentially. But, wow, that is a very late hit that beats the shift. Oh, that's unfortunate. But, hey, you play that game. Technically, in real life, this is supposed to be a season where shifts don't exist, but you can't turn it off. I guess, technically, I guess I could have turned it off, but oh well. Oh, man. You're not running on Austin Hayes, are you? You're not running on Austin Hayes. Nope. Okay. All right. We're in a little bit of trouble. A little bit of trouble. Um, who's up to bat? It was, is Adam Engel the ninth hitter? No, he's not. Okay. This is the ninth hitter. And I think we struck him out his first at bat. You are not running on Cedric Mullins. Not on the shallows. No, you're not. No, you are not. Are you serious? Oh, I didn't get. I didn't get all of the throw. I didn't get all of the throw. I didn't get all of the throw. They're predicting steal. He, he went. Actually went. Adley gunned. Oh my God! Oh, we're not getting the tag. We're not getting the tags, ladies and gentlemen. Now they got to run their score position again. Oh man! I thought both times we had the opportunity to throw that man's out. Whether they be at home or still in second. And now it's a 3-2 count. Frank Schwindel is up next. So we need to get out of this inning, man. That's a RBI, RBI double. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We got a ball game. We got a ball game. Aaron Nola. Now we got Swindell. Focus Swindell, man. Don't worry about the batter at second base. Focus Swindell. Cedric Mullins did not get the best hop on it. Ah! All right. We're fine. You're fine, Nola. Don't even worry about it. Focus on Stanton, please. Focus on Stanton. Oh, let's get this bullpen going. We got to get the bullpen going now. We got to get the bullpen going now. Aaron Nola. Are we serious? Josh Donaldson's up to bat. Let's, let's go ahead and get our, our bullpen going. Um... We are in the fifth. I'm gonna I'm gonna warm up Michael King to go against this former team. You know, we just just do a little mound visit to calm things down. Oh man, this is a battle. Josh Donaldson, Aaron Nola. No way, Aaron Nola didn't make the play. Jorge, that's eleven speed you throwing out. We're out of the inning. Oh man, I thought Aaron Nola was gonna be able to make that play. We're definitely feeling feeling the lack of fielding on our infield today. Definitely, definitely feeling it. All right, that's okay. We're actually hitting er Garrett, Garrett Cole pretty solidly. Uh, we just haven't been able to turn it into more than one run. That's not the pitch, Kenny. We were talking about patience for the entire entirety of the first four innings. And now that we're down, I didn't lost all sense of patience. Austin Hayes, 2-2 two -two count. We need, we need a little two-out rally, Austin. We need a little two-out rally from you, my boy. That might be out of there. That might be out of there. Austin Hayes. Put it on the board, baby. Austin Hayes, first home run of the season. Let's go. Is that a fastball inside? 
He, he threw it to where my PCI is anchored. And I took a yard. Beautiful. We needed that run desperately. Two out in the fifth. We needed some, some type of offense. And there my boy Austin Hayes is. Get off my bat ball. Only 364, but we'll take that, baby. What's the confidence level? Oh, his energy's low. The confidence ain't great. We can maybe get, get, get another base run on him. Two out rally. That's not it, Kenny. That's not it. Oh, my God. The bare hand from IFK. Is that his name? IFK? Or is it IKF? IKF. Austin Hayes. We'll take that, Austin. We'll take that, baby. 3-2 ball game. All right, I'm giving Aaron Nolan an opportunity. If we get any base runners, make the play. That's down. All right, Aaron Nolan's done. He gave us five solid innings. First game in Baltimore. Maybe a little bit of nerves. He's done, though. We're going to bring in Michael King to uh, to relieve him for an inning. Maybe two. That's our new, um, our new skip. I don't really even know his name. Remember his name. But... Michael King versus former team. You know, they traded him away for the, a bag of bones, low key. Throw him a slurve. Down in the way. Oh my God, that's not where I wanted that pitch to end. It's not where I wanted that pitch to end, man. All right. We're not worried about Aaron Hicks, are we? Ah, uh, is that a double play ball? It is. Not a double play ball. We got the force at second. All right. I, I, I'm, I'm actually feeling the lack of fielding. If we have somebody with gold field, and that's a possibility we turn that play. But since both of our players are like bronze and, and a, a low silver, thank God for Adam Eagle for being bad. Since they're like low um, low fielders, we weren't able to turn that double play ball. And hopefully it won't matter if we get this out right here. But that's that could be crucial long term to our team. When you think about it, that's a play. Beautiful. We're out of the inning. All right. No harm done. All right. I like I like this lineup. Adley's been killing the ball. Timmy is still great. They're bringing in Luis Gill. Um, and he had a 6 ERA last year in just five of um, games. I guess he spent a lot of time in the minors. He is like, I guess at this point, he's like 24 years old. Is Tim Anderson going to draw a walk in his first game with the Orioles? This man is turning a new leaf. If he draws a walk, I mean, that would be insane. He didn't. That was that. I, I thought there was a chance that that was gonna lead a park. That was so inside, so inside. That should have been a walk. That should have been a walk. But I, I'm I'm just not the greatest player of all time. So far, Armand Urias has played great. Um, and just like that, we're out of the inning. Three two count. It's a fastball, and I was early. Great. They got the top of their order. Um, I'm going to warm up Dylan Tate, and I guess Jake, um, just just in case. But we're going to see if Michael King can get us another inning. I really like this slurve, man. It never ends up where I want it to go. Jorge Polanco, dive and play. Da -da -da, da -da -da. That's a wham jam, ladies and gentlemen. From a bronze fielder. <laughs> From a bronze fielder. Okay. All right. We know how to get Stanton out. It's this pitch right here. This time he did not chase. Um, That was a perfect, perfect sound, by the way. Cedric Mullins. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They got to be upset. That was the perfect, perfect sound. With a guy with like 100 power and it did not leave the park. Thank God. And now Paul Fry. He's going to try to get his revenge on us. Fastball slider change. All right. He's going to try to get his revenge. Cedric Mullins 0 for 3 on the night. Not the greatest start of the season. And that's definitely not doing anything. Look where my PCI is compared to the ball, bro. Oh, tragic. I'm also the worst lefty-lefty hitter in the history of MLB The Show. Oh, my God. I am the worst player of all time. Come on, Contrell. You know what a brother bring out the government name. It's serious. Come on, bro. You got to be better. Um, Yeah, we got to bring in a righty. So we're going to bring in Dylan Tate for his first appearance of the season. Uh, what's this? Is this the eighth? This is the eighth. We have six outs to play with, y'all. We got six outs to play with. To make make the change, to make a, a push. I do not like throwing circle changes. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm just I yanked it because. <laughs> all right, all right, Glaber. Thank you. You're playing for the old the O's today. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. He playing for the O's today. He swung got one in the dirt, and he swung got one so far outside. Thank you, Glaber. And Duhar, one one count. Ryan Mountcastle with a dive and play. Throw it over to Dylan Tate, and we added that in it. We got six outs to play with, man. Ryan Malcastle, is he up to bat next? Oh, they're just previewing this play. That was a great play for Ryan Malcastle, man. Full-time first baseman nowadays. 
I don't think he was that last year, but I could be mistaken. Lucas Link Leaky? Lukey? What you got in your repertoire? Cutter, slider, and curveball. And they're all like some pretty slow pitches here. So look at my PCI placement, bro. I'm so sick of myself. I'm actually getting frustrated with my abilities. I need to film these episodes like every other day. That's the only way I'm going to get back in the swing of things. All right, fellas. If there's any time to get it going, it's a two-hour rally in the eighth. But it's lefty-lefty, and I don't know how the heck to do that. All right, come on, Ben Attendee. And it's not now. I suck. All right, let's just make sure they don't put any, any other runs on the board. We're going to keep Dylan Tate in. He can pitch two innings. There's no reason to warm up anybody else. Actually, we should we should definitely warm up somebody just in case. Actually, that's I'm dumb for even saying that. Tyler Wells can warm up. We don't have that many right hand relievers. Um, I know we used a couple, but I expect to have at least one more. I think. All right, three two count to Aaron Hicks. Do not want a lead base runner because you will get yanked, Mr. Tate. Lead base runner. Okay. All right, that's fine. It's Adam Ingle up to, up to bat next. He's one for three on the night, and he grounded into a double play. See, see that's working. That's fine. All right, Dilla, one out. And trust the bats. I think we got, who do we have? We have like Adley, Tim Anderson, Ramon Urias in the bottom of the ninth. I like that three. I mentioned it earlier. I like that three. I like our chances to maybe make something happen. Jonathan Loisica. I had to wait to hit an announcer pronounce it. Loisica. He's got gas, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's got gas. Two, two counts. So we got to protect. Adley, he's got two doubles on the day. We got to protect. That's, that's a perfect pitch. I got good PCI, good timing. This wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. All right, 1-1 one, one count for Timmy. Come on, man. Come on, Timmy. Let's get it going, baby. Little rally. That's up the middle. Tim Anderson gets us started, baby. Tim Anderson gets us started. It's not pretty. It's just early up the middle, but it's enough to keep us going. And Ramon Urias is a killer versus lefties. They want to pitch run them. You know what? That's smart. That's smart. Timmy. We got, we got Jorge. We got Jorge. That is a double play ball. But Jorge Mateo. Well, season opener. Uh, did not go exactly as I wanted to. Hey, that's okay, though. You can't win them all. You cannot win them all. Um, I could have played it a lot better when it came to um, Aaron Nola's pitching. Once he started to give up a couple hits and gave up like run number two, I should have came in and stepped in. Uh, so that's all my fault. We we got we got two runs on the day. That's like the lowest you've ever seen in these videos. But we play on a hard difficulty, man. And I was rusty as heck. I do want to see what the rest of the series looks like. Um, we, we got two more here in Baltimore. We lose 17 to three. John Means pits a, an inning and a third, and he got dominated. Stanton hit two home runs, had six RBIs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Don't get swept in the first outing, the first series of the year. Okay, Aaron Bummer got the win here, so this is a late push for us. Um, yeah, four runs in the 10th, so... And four of them. Oh, my God. Tim Anderson, did you hit a grand salami? He did. That's fun, at least. Not the greatest start to the season at all. We got to get into some scouting. Oh, my God. We got to get into some scouting. I don't. I will not do it again. This guy looks like a stud already. He's a blue chip guy with 70 overall. Um, I'm going to do some scouting for sure. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. 1-2 to start off the year. Austin Hayes and Ben Attendi in that first series struggled. I guess our offensive general struggled. Cedric Mullins has 11 at-bats and no hits yet. So next video, we got to come in and get it going, man. I don't know who it's going to be against. I feel like we got to play in Boston for some reason. They were like the number one overall team as far as overall goes. And I think I, I, I pitched this game for John Means because his, over, his ERA is a 54. So let's go through this series right here. You know what? I'm going to turn on critical conditions, uh, critical situations just in case. First game versus Toronto is a win. Kikuchi's on the mound for game two. Morton has a shutout in his first game. I'll let him do his thing. He gave up two runs, but it's still a win. Still a win. Nine strikeouts in that one. Uh, Rodriguez in his first game of the season also did great six strikeouts. And then now we got Aaron Nola's second time on the bump. And we sweep the Blue Jays. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful game. And did Nola get a no decision? 
He did. He pitched seven innings, gave up one run, but he had a no decision because the bats aren't coming out the way they need to be. Um, so we're going to play this next game, next episode. After a bad start to the season, losing two out of three to the Yanks, we are now four and two. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, and I'll see you all in a few days.